Hi guys, JNM here with the next Unreal Engine C++ tutorial. This one is about how to use arrays. Let me show you what we are going to create first. When the player presses the L key, a random cube will be lifted. This looks pretty simple, and I guess it could be done really fast, but to do it right, it's a good idea to implement the logic for this random lifting in a separate manager class. So let's go back to our project where we stopped the last time, when we could just lift a single cube. Now I'll go ahead and add a new C++ class, again derive it from actor, and I will call this cube manager. Ok, then I create the class, and after it is created and compiled, I open it in Visual Studio 2017. This is the CPP, the implementation file of the cube manager. I press Ctrl, K and O to switch to the header file. Then I add a private section and declare a member variable of type tArray. tArray is a dynamic list and the most common container class of Unreal Engine and I want to store my actor objects in this list. But in order to use this myActor class, I have to include the myActor header. Ok, now we have to tell the tArray that we want to store a myActor classes, and these have to be pointers. So now we can store a myActor objects here in this dynamic array that are called cubes, and I also have to define a method that I want to call to lift a random cube. The lift amount for a cube I define here as a parameter of this method. To be able to call this method from a blueprint, I define it as a u function with the argument blueprint callable. Ok, and then I switch to the implementation file and add an empty implementation first. Later on, I will add the algorithm for lifting a random cube. Now the next step. I don't want to add all the cubes in this level manually to the array. I want this class to be able to find them automatically. So I include a header called engineUtils. And now I have access to a class called tActorIterator that I can use to iterate the actors in my level of a certain class and in my case this is a my actor. And every actor that I find I will add to the cubes array. I use get world to get the u world pointer that we need as a parameter and also the class of the actor that we are searching for and I can get this by typing a my actor static class. The iteration is done in a for loop and the iterator is incremented with this plus plus syntax to go to the next entry. And to access one entry, you have to precede this iterator with an asterisk. Then I check if the item is not null. This means that it is defined, it is accessible and in this case I add it to the array. Great, now we can write the lift random cube logic. First I check if we actually have some cubes in our array, and if not, we leave the method. But if we found some cubes, I define a random number that is in the range between the first and the last element in the cubes list, then I get the cube at this index from the array, set the lift amount for this cube, and to actually lift the cube I call the lift cube method. Alright, now the C++ code is implemented. Now I compile and then I open the character blueprint. In this one we still call the lift cube method for one actor, we don't need this anymore. I will define a new public variable, call it cube manager, and set it to the cube manager class. Then I drag this cube manager variable in as a getter 
and find the lift random cube method. And for the parameter for the lift amount, I use the existing node random float in range. Okay, that's it. Now we can save and compile. And the last thing that I have to do is to drag a cube manager into the level and then assign it to the cube manager variable of the character blueprint. Now I start the game and each time I press the L key, a random cube is lifted. Okay guys, I really hope you find this useful and interesting. And if you do, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to not miss a future tutorial. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support and see you soon here on JNM.